Hey everyone, Steven here, and today I'm reviewing the Urgear Electric Stand-Up Desk. I'll showcase a time-lapse of me making the desk right now while I cover some of the specs, and this took roughly 30 minutes to make, which is on par with other stand-up desks I reviewed. I have the 48x24 version here, but this also comes in a 40x24, 55x28, and 63x28 size. And those measurements are the length and the depth of the desk top. So mine is 48 inches long and 24 inches deep. This is a single motor stand-up desk with a 100 to 240 volt power supply with an adjustable height of 28.3 to 46.5 inches. This moves at a 20 millimeter per second rate. This has an operating noise of less than 55 decibels, which is pretty standard to other desks that I've actually used in the past. And this can hold a max load of 176 pounds. The desk comes in one box that is smaller than most of the other stand-up desks I've reviewed because the desk actually comes in two parts for the top, which you actually have to put together. This has two grommet cable holes, two headset hooks, and a controller on the front. The controller has a setup button to set the three presets to your liking and an up and down button. The desk weighs close to 45 pounds and is much lighter than my other stand-up desk, so moving it is easier. This also does come with extra parts just in case, which I always like to see. The price is $179.99 with frequent sales, so you definitely want to check back on those, and that is for this particular size. The price is going to change depending on the size, though, so keep that in mind. Moving on now to the things that I like about this desk, I'll start with the build quality and the aesthetics, which are really good. This doesn't feel flimsy, and the 176-pound capacity should fit almost everyone's needs. This also comes in black and natural colors, also if you don't want the vintage version that I have here. The headphone holders are made of plastic, but they still feel very durable, and the built-in grommets are great. I wish more desks had this feature instead of needing to drill the holes on your own. The grommets included here fit just right and don't feel like they will pop out. These are actually some of my favorite grommets to date because they actually have a spring in them so that when you need to adjust the opening, it will actually come back and it just, it's not something where you're gonna remove it and then forget that it's there and then just accidentally lose it and then there's just a hole and an opening right there. So I was really surprised with how good these are and I actually wish my other desks had these. The height the desk can achieve is pretty standard amongst the desks I've reviewed in the past. I'm six foot and it easily fits my needs, so I think it will actually fit for most people. It could push a little bit higher, so I would say if you're probably anywhere from six foot to six foot three or four, you should be okay. If you're taller than that, you're probably gonna wanna look elsewhere. And to recap some of the things that I mentioned in the specification portion, this weighs 45 pounds and is easy to move, which I really like. Some of the stand-up desks I actually have are really heavy, so it's a burden anytime I want to move them. Not the case here. The controller is easy to use on this, and I actually really like the look, the aesthetic to this. It just is a nice controller. And then the price here is solid. This is not gonna break the bank, and with it being $179 for this particular size, and there's usually coupons or discounts, you can get this at a good price. Considering a handful of years ago, I mean, stand-up desks, if you wanted to get one, you were looking at three, four, five hundred dollars $500. It's awesome to see that these have become more affordable, and so more people have the option to actually stand and sit at their desk, and they don't have to create some type of box on their desk or they don't have to get a Vera desk or anything like that. They can get one that is motorized like this one. You also have the other options for colors and sizes here. So you're not boxed into one choice with this. You do have some variability that you get to choose from and I really like that. Shifting over now to the things that I don't like about this desk, I really only have two, and one is more of a gray area, and we'll start with that, and that's the split desktop. I personally don't like seeing the line down the middle of the desk. It just visually looks off to me, but I don't think everyone will feel the same way. And another option is that if down the road, it just, it is, it's causing an issue for you, you don't like it, you could actually just purchase a different desktop for this. 
Now, when I say desktop, I don't mean the base or the whole desk. I literally just mean the top of this. So you can find these and the prices range all over the place, but you can find just the top. You can maybe even get a larger size if you wanted it or a smaller size, as long as it fits the base still. And you could use that if you wanted to. I've done that in the past. That's actually my main desk. I have a certain slab of wood that I got from Home Depot that I put on top of a base that I was using that came with a different top. So that's just something I wanted everybody to be aware of. The only other issue I found with the desk is the cable of the power supply unit is very short. This should be double the length that it is. The shorter length means you can't have this very far from an outlet unless you're going to use an extension cable. And it's going to actually lift up with the desk every time you change the height because there just isn't enough cable length for there to be any slack. And so those are the only two things that I would want everybody to be aware of and to consider before they purchase this. So that's actually gonna be it for this video. This has two things, like I mentioned, to be aware of, but other than that, this is a very great stand-up desk with a price point that won't break the bank. There seems to be frequent discounts on this, so always try to take advantage of those. And if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer that for you there. I'll have a link for this in the description if you wanna pick it up. If you like the video, hit the like button for me as it helps the channel out. If you wanna to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.